Okay, so last time we finished this uh, independence for multiple variable. We'll proceed with the multinomial probability distribution. Suppose that a random experiment consists of a series of n trials. Assume that, number one, the outcome, the outcome of each trial can be classified into one of k classes. Number two. The probability of a trial resulting in one of the k outcome is constant and equal to p1 to pk for each uh, trial and the trial are independent. So then random variables x1 to xk denotes the number of outcomes in each class and have a multinomial distribution and probability mass function. So for Multiple variable, which is the probability of x1 equals x1 up to xk equals to xk, is just equal to, uh, this one is for the factorial of uh, similar or similar outcome. Diba? Alala nyo yung sa probability natin, n factorial over x1 factorial, x2 factorial, uh, up to xk factorial, and just multiply it to the probability raised to x of i for x1 to xn is equal to n and the probability outcome is equal to 1 okay so let's have this example of the 20 bit received over a uh, digital channel 14 are of excellent quality so this is excellent e uh, 3 are good so this is g g g ano g E. 2 are fair, so F, and 1 is poor, so P. The sequence received was uh, this one, 14 yung E, and 3 yung G, 2 yung fair, and 1 yung poor. Let the random variable X1, X2, X3, and X4 denotes the number of bits that are E, G, F, and P respectively in a transmission of 20 bits. Assume that the classification of individual bits are independent, and then, and that the probability of E, G, F, and P are as follow, 0 0.6, 0 0.3, 0 0.8, and 0 0.02. So, pag sinam nyo yung total probability, this is equal to 1. Respectively, what is the probability that we have 12 bits, this is the, the probability, 16 bits, 2, and 0, P. So, we'll just use the multinomial probability function of this one, the probability of x1 is 12, x2 is 6, x3 is 2, and x4 is 0. So, we'll just have this uh, combination. Ah, no, this is not a combination. This is a factorial uh, probability ratio or events times the probability. And this is equal to 0 0.035. Okay. So you can have this uh, expression in the Excel calculation. Okay, now, for multinomial mean and variance, the marginal distribution of the multinomials are binomial. So, if 1, x2, x3 are, have a multinomial distribution, the marginal probability distribution, this is marginal probability, of xi is binomial with xi and pi, and dxi is equal to n pi times 1 minus pi. So, the probability with respected i, you just multiply it with n. For the expected value or the mean, and for the variance, it's just uh, for xi, multiply yung pi, yung p of i, times yung complementary. Okay? That's a multinomial mean and variance. Now, uh, for barbariate normal probability density function, we follow the probability function of your uh, by variate normal distribution, you have the xy with mean value and variance and uh, correlation equal to this one. So we have our function expressed as this. And this is the mean value. Okay, so ayan yung mean, uh, mu, mu niya. So for all values of x and y. And the par parameter limits are as shown below. Greater than 0 yung uh, standard deviation, the mean value is negative infinity to infinity and the uh, 
uh, correlation is negative 1 to 1. Okay, now, for marginal distribution of the barbariate normal random variables, if you have x and y as a barbariate normal distribution with joint probability density function, ito yung density function niya, the marginal probability distribution of x and y are normal with mean mu of x, mu of y, and a standard deviation of x, uh, sigma x and sigma y respectively. So, if x and y have a barbariate normal distribution with that uh, probability function or density function, the conditional probability distribution of y given x is denoted by this uh, expression as mean value of y given x is equal to the uh, mu of y, mean of y plus rho over sig sigma of y over sigma of x, standard deviation of x and y, and this one x minus mu. And for the standard deviation or the variance uh, given y is just the variance of y minus 1 minus rho squared. Okay, for the correlation naman of bivariate normal a random variable, if x and y have a bivariate normal distribution with joint probability density function, then the correlation between x and y is your uh, rho. Okay, so in general, zero correlation does not imply independence. So, pareho lang din nung kanina. But in special cases that x and y have a bivariate normal distribution, if rho is equal to zero, then x and y are independent. If x and y have a bivariate normal distribution of 0, then we can state that x and y are independent for, the, for this case. Okay? Now, uh, linear function, pag sinabi niyong linear function for multiple random variables is that the power of the variable, as you can see here, are 1 and it has a constant okay, for all variables. So, this is a linear combination of x1 and 2x. Okay, now, so for the mean and variance of a linear function, so if you have a, a linear function, ito yung linear function mo, y is equal to a function of uh, x variable at a linear expression, then you can have the expected value of y as equal to c constant y times the expected value of x. Okay, and the variance also follow the constant squared times the variance of x plus uh, 2 summation of the product of the uh, covariances. Okay, so if x1, x2, and x uh, to xp are independent, then this one will be equal to 0. So, mawawala lang itong term na to. So, ito yung na uh, Let's have this uh, problem. So, error propagation. A semiconductor product consists of three layers. The variance of the thickness of each layer is 25, 40, and 30 nanometer. What are the variance and the standard deviation of the finished product? So, ang assumption natin that this one are uh, independent, so yung three layers. So, yung x natin is just equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3. So, for the variance, you just get the sum of all the variances. It's the variance. And for the standard deviation, square root lang siya niya, variance. So, square root ng 95 is 9.747. Okay, you can use your calculator. Okay, mean and variance of an average value. If x bar is equal to the mean value, ito yung mean natin. So, x1, summation ng x1 to xp, divide by p, which is the total number of uh, variable and the expected value of i is equal to mu, then the expected value for uh, the mean is equal to uh, the probability or yung p times mu which is equal lang to dun sa total sum over p which is equal to mu. If x, y are independent, then the variance is just your sigma. And the variance of the expected value is just uh, rho times uh, sigma squared over rho squared or rho squared over p value. Okay? 
for reproductive property of the normal distribution, if x1, x2, and x3 are independent normal random variable with expected value of mu and the variance of mu squared for i1 to p, then your linear function is just equal to y from the linear uh, function of your x variable with constant c uh, multiplied by that. And this is a normal random variable if the expected value of y is equal to your uh, mu, yung mu value for each variable of x times the uh, constant. And the variance is for independent. This is independent. Ha? Kaya uh, constant squared times the variance of each uh, variable. Okay, so let's have this example. That the random variable x1 and x2 denotes the length and width of a manufactured part. So, meron tayong data for the two parameters, x1 and x2, with mean and the standard deviation. Their parameters are shown in the table. What is the probability that perimeter exceed with 14.5? Uh, so, the probability na yung perimeter natin ay greater than 14.5. So, ang formula ng perimeter... Pag may length and width ka, is just 2 uh, length plus 2 width. Okay? So, ito yung magiging y natin. Ito yung x1 at saka x2 na variable. Okay, bring ko na. Okay, so let y, which is the perimeter, equals to that expression. And the expected value is just uh, 2 times... Uh, the expected value, multiply nyo lang. Yung expected value, which is the mean, ito yon for x1. And this one, mean x2 for this one. Okay? So, this is 14. And the variance naman, so, this is independent. We assume that uh, they are independent uh, functions. So, we use the variance formula. So, squared nyo lang yung constant times the variance of each. Ito yung standard deviation. So, kailangan i- squared siya. Kaya ito yung formula. So, 4 times uh, 0.1 squared plus 4 times 0.2 squared and that will be the value, 0.20. Getting the standard deviation, that's 0.4472 cm. So, yung probability ng y, which is the perimeter greater than 14.5 is just uh, using the standard normal standard normal distribution. Okay? So, uh, erase ko lang. So, ito ay pareho lang ng 1 minus the probability of y less than 14.5. So, convert sa C, the probability. So, 14.5 minus 14, dito yung mu, dito yung standard deviation. So, probability from uh, C table, nakukuha nyo yan, and the probability is 0.1318. Or you can use your calculator for the calculation of this probability. Or this one is the normal distribution in Excel. You can use this X, uh, function. Okay. General function of a discrete random variable. Suppose that X is a discrete random variable with probability distribution F of X. Let Y equals H of X defined a one-to-one -one transformation between the value of X and Y so that the equation y is equal to hx can be solved uniquely for x in terms of y. So, itatransform lang natin yung y function natin to uh, x function. Let this uh, solution be x equals uh, mu y, the inverse transform function. Then, the probability mass function of the random variable y is just f of y is equal to x times mu of, uh, u of y, which is the uh, function of y siya. Okay? So, let's have some example. Let x be a geometric random variable with probability distribution f of x is equal to p times 1 minus p x y. Itatransform lang natin siya. Find the probability distribution of y is equal to x2. Okay? Solution, since x is greater than 0, the transformation is 1 to 1. Okay? So, uh, the inverse transformation function of x is equal to the square root of y. So, pag kinuha nyo yung x, square root of y lang siya. And uh, this one is just that 
uh, square root of y minus 1 yung 1 minus p value. And magta-transform lang to as 1, 4, 9, 16 the function. Okay? Now, uh, for uh, continuous random variable naman, suppose that x is a continuous random variable with probability distribution f of x, let y equals h of x define a 1 to 1 transformation between x and y. So that the equation of y is h of x can be solved by x in terms of y where x is equal to a function of y, u function of y, which is the inverse transform function. Then the probability distribution of y is where uh, j is just the first derivative of y is called the Jacobian of the transformation and the absolute value of j is this. So uh, let x be a continuous random variable with probability distribution, then f of x, x over a, for x value 0 to 4. four. So find the probability distribution of y, h of x is equal to 2x plus 4. Note that y has a one-to-one -one relationship with x, so meaning 1 is to 1 new function. So we can uh, determine x as uh, mu of y. So transform lang natin itong function na to to x value variable. So ito siya. y minus 4 over 2. And the Jacobian uh, value or j is just the, the first derivative of this function. So uh, y over 2 constant, so magiging 1 half lang siya yung sa de derivative. First derivative yan, ha? So, by the transformation, uh, fy, papalitan nyo lang yung x nyo na expression nung, nung y. Ito yun. Ta times nyo lang dun sa j value nyo. So, times nyo. And this is the expression. And, syempre, mapapalitan na to ng, ng y. So, expression lang. Lilipat nyo lang siya yung, yung x papasok nyo lang dito. So, yung x mo ay magiging 4 and yung 4 mo magiging 12 siya. 4 times 2 plus 4. So, we'll end our lesson number 5 here. Okay? So, then, ready na kayo for your first long